to the office of Dr. Nathaniel Bard. Please state your business clearly into the intercom. Carlos be like, give me that vaccine, ho! Nurses Journal, September 25th. Every day they bring in more of these mystery illness patients. The sedatives don't stop their de delirium, so we have to put them in stray jackets and move them to the isolation wing. Problem is, the isolation wing is already bursting at the seams. The director has orders for us to admit anyone with symptoms free of charge, but what does he expect us to do? Wish them better? We don't have a cure. And that's not- and that's not all that's bothering me. When these patients die, they're not collected by the usual mortuary teams. We've been told it's special handling to prevent the illness from spreading, but I'm not sure I buy it. Miranda saw some guys wheeling a body through the forbidden door during the night. Why? Where? What's going on? He literally is! He's simping for Jill! Yo! The way that the zombies get up ass first though. They're arching. Can I just open- Oh fuck! Yo, they're rising. Awesome. Fantastic. Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? So truly on. I mean, Carlos. Nurses Journal, September 27th. Admitted over 20 mystery illness patients. Patients in the isolation wing exhibited severe limb ne necrosis, fever, muttering, delirium, and signs of hyper uh, phag phagnia. Hyper phagnia. Okay, possible infection. Tried every antiseptic. Still no blood work back to the research wing. Ask again. Dr. Young was bitten while treated one while treating one of the patients. We've disinfected the wound, but his fever won't go down. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outwing patient is complete anarchy. The patient are delirious and growing, more violent by the minute. We called in our off-duty staff. It's all hands on deck now. We've got to contain this chaos. Nurses Journal, September 29th. We tried, I swear to God we did. But there's nothing else to be done. The chaos is completely beyond control. Victims are pouring in now, dying and spreading the infection faster than we can reach them. So we've given up trying. Those of us who aren't infected have barricaded ourselves in here. We can hear the cries for help outside. The screaming, but none of us will go out there because it would be the end of us. I can't believe we've abandoned our patients. It's the worst sin imaginable for a nurse. I can't stop shaking, but I want to live. I want to live. Oh, so sad. 9 p.m. We heard a helicopter flying overhead and immediately started crying and hugging each other, thinking a rescue team was on the way. But then the sound grew distant and we're all left and all we've left with now is the moaning of the dead and the silent screams in our hearts. We're all about to lose our minds. Dr. Young, Ariana, Miranda, Dakota. I'm so sorry I failed you. Something's coming. Help me. Note about a tape recording. Dakota, I think I know what happened to the missing tape of Dr. B. His research assistant took it. One of my patients saw Abbott removing something from a locker in the nurse station and walked toward the treatment room. I tried to sneak in and look during the night shift. You just stay cool and keep doing your job. I don't care how important Dr. B is to the medical community. That kind of harassment is not okay. I promise I won't let them destroy this evidence. He's a pig and an asshole and I will get his day in court. Stay brave, stay strong, a friend. Ah! Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh, no, I wasn't ready. Is that Mr. X's hat? Ah! Oh, there's an auto save. I can't. It's over. We lost. What the heck? Ooh. Ooh. It's him. Is it? Hey, uh, yeah, no, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Ah, uh, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, Oh, let's go in. Oh, fuck. big arms i'm sure he can just push things and move things it's not his fault i mean look at him he's packing you're right uh.
<laughs> Can't help it, I want you. So true. Meet a Carlos. All I wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet, you bedpan-changing waste of a nursing degree. Of course I have connections higher up. Of course the military consults with me on projects beyond your comprehension. So stop wasting my time with your nosy questions. I... Uh, I'm sorry, Doctor. You didn't read the documents, did you? No, I shredded them just like you asked. Good. Good. If that's all, you can go back to wiping your patient's ass. That's what they pay you for, right? And polish my shoes. Yes, sir. I bet you know a lot about polishing, don't you? Now fuck off and don't say a word to anyone. Oh, no. Bard. Tyrell. Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit. And the vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder. There's gotta be a computer, right? Look harder, Carlos. My stream crashed? Yeah. It couldn't handle Carlos's, uh, guns. Dear Dr. Bard, it is my pleasure to cordially invite you to a banquet on September 10th at the Central Hotel, where we will be exchanging viewpoints on Raccoon City's new special medical zone. SMZ. Attending will be Mayor Michael Warren, Chief of Police Brian Irons, and other distinguished members of our community. Thursday, September 10th, 1998, 6pm. The Orient Restaurant, the Central Hotel, second floor. We would be honored if you joined us. Sincerely, Greg Tester, United States Senator. Oh, the Senator? Oh my gosh. Handwritten note. Nate, I'll be introducing the bill for that new drug of yours in mid-August. Bring the cash. We booked a suite for the usual after party. You're a brunette guy, right? I'll let Irons know. Ooh, a brunette guy. You know what I realized? We did not get any, like, gunpowder as Carlos. Like, we, we're just getting- we're just getting- we're just, like, handed ammo for him. The game is like, Carlos is too dumb to mix all that stuff together. <laughs> Email from Nathaniel Bard. To Greg Tester. Subject. Reply immediately. Greg, I know you're watching the news. The virus is going to devour the whole country. The dead will wash over Capitol Hill like a tidal wave. You're not safe. However, you've always been a good friend to me, so I'd like to offer you a way out. I have, in my position, one dose of the vaccine for the virus. The holy grail! And it's not for my family, not for my ladies on the side. No, Greg. I'm saving it for you. I know better than anyone than your future of the United States. But if you want the goods, Greg, you have to go... You have you have got to get me the hell out of here. Now, without Umbrella finding out. Lean on the Pentagon for me. I know you've got the clout. See if someone can get a rescue team. I'm here with... I'm here without UBCS involvement. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Which should sound pretty chase after the parties we've been to. Hurry, my time is running out, Nate. Oh shoot, oh shoot, no, I wasn't ready. This is ERC Chief Nathaniel Bard, September 29, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware Damn the angle, he's now. looking, look at his eyes. And I hope and pray by making this recording and bringing the truth to light, that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. All of Raccoon City's suffering Raccoon. Again. He said that the weird. Release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus. <gasps> He's finding out the truth. And they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. No, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... <gasps> Damn, imagine finding out that Umbrella Corp sucks. Oh, he cute. I got you only one alone. And she trusted me anyway. Now they should kiss. Fuck! Oh my god. Oh, he is angry. 
I think Carlos should rip off the sleeve and let the guns come out, right? Please tell me there's a scene where he does that. Oh, it's the autosave for me. Oh. oh. Ah! You're gonna be okay, Joe. Hold on, Jill. I need to put stuff away because it's gonna bother me if it's still here. Okay, there we go. I got you, girl. Stab her with it. Oh, oh! Sorry, I, I, I like that. I like that way too much. Sorry. Now kiss. Now kiss. Oh my gosh, he's waiting there for Ah! I can't. Oh bestie. Tyrell. What the hell happened? Attention all citizens. The contagion spreading throughout the city has been designated uncontainable. On October 1st. Raccoon City will be completely destroyed in a missile strike. What? All residents capable of rational thought are urged to evacuate immediately. Capable this of rational thought. Attention all citizens. And that's only a day away. There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Oh Fuck. no. Here they come. Oh, you sit tight. I got this. No, you should have. Why did here. you? Sounds like there's a lot of them out there. Carlos really just had to be like, I have a, a a a big brain, and so I need to go help people. I'm like, haha, Carlos, don't do that. You're so sexy. Ha, huh? stay here with Jill. Bye, Jill. I'll be right back. Mwah. You too. I'll give you a little smooch. I'm gonna try to lower the window shutters. The less entry points, the better. Yo, and what? How do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. I'm not ready for this. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm not ready. Ah! This isn't fun. This isn't fun. This isn't fun. Get away. No! Ah! So that one's right behind me. Oh, push it off. Get away from me. So like, what am I supposed to do? Just defend Jill. I like how it's just defending Jill. Who cares about his friend though, right? He's doing this for love. <gasps> what the oh, fuck? Don't know what this is, but let's take it, take it, take it. Get the heck away from me. Ew! Ew! Ew, it's awake! Ew! No! Get away from me! Ow! No! Ah! Hey, get away from that door. Oh, fun. Oh, Lord, they're coming. 20 seconds? 30 seconds? I can't. I will cry. Hey, get away from that door. Get away. How do you even know people are in there, huh? Well, that's one way to do it. Achievement unlock. I need a hero. That's so true. Right? Not even close. But at least it's over. I'm coming back. Vaccine's a real deal. Good. Vaccines you work, somewhere? everybody. You're damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. Ballsy motherfucker. What are we gonna do now? We just went through so much. Oh, am I Jill? Oh, Jesus. Jill. Oh, Bia. Oh, thank God you're okay. Boyfriend simulator. I've got good news. It's over now. The city's safe. Uh, what? No, Carlos, don't die. You're so sexy. Yo, Jill, just do it. Shoot, 
Can you on? believe? Can you believe? Can you believe that's her nightmare? That Carlos becomes a zombie? Attention, all citizens. The missile strike on Raccoon City will occur in just hours. The you know what that means, right? To eradicate all biological material. You will not survive if you remain in the city. October 1st. Evacuate now. Repeat. No. Evacuate now. It can't be. This is not a test. You know what that means? Are you guys aware of this situation? That's her nightmare. Morning, sunshine. Hey, bestie. You saved my life. I sure as shit didn't. That was all Carlos. He carried you here and he treated you himself. Crazy bastard. Where is he? He went underground. Bard stockpiled the vaccine, enough to give this city some hope. He thinks he can do this by himself. I'm going after him. Wait, did you see the broadcast? They're gonna blow the city sky high. I'm trying to get a hold of someone, anyone with the clearance to stop it. Leave this mess to him. He's a professional. So am I. Ooh. So am I. Right. Guess I'm not talking you out of this. You know what Torch this means? The facility's underground, beneath this hospital. I've lost contact with Carlos, so expect trouble. You guys know what that means? They're worrying about each other. <laughs> 